back on site. We got part-time help here. Miko's back. How's it going, boys? And girls. Putting uh, the form boards on this garage. We're gonna get this prepped and ready to install the concrete. So we're gonna go plastic and then wire mesh. And it'll be a 4,000 PSI cement. Got our line snapped. It's gonna have a two inch pitch all the way down to follow the sub grade that we installed. Whoever didn't see this process, uh, I'll put a link in the description of the video leading up to this, or you could just go back a couple. So yeah, today's Miko's birthday. He's back part time. He's working uh, night shifts, so he's gonna try to fill in when he can, which will be a help and it will work out. So basically we got the piers here that you've seen. Uh, that's going to be a lean to carport. They changed the design on this because the deck wasn't working out as planned. So we got five more piers right there, which are going to go here. Going to be tight because we got a tree to deal with. Uh, probably going to have to do a little different attack to set these ones in. Um, and plus they're going to be stepped with the grade. And these are four footers instead of five. So they're going to be flush with the grade. A little bit different but it is doable all right gonna get to work this half inch of frost out right now just so we can rake it into that low spot right there by that plastic it's a little bit uh high here just this, this heat will flat heat the rocks and take that half inch right out then we'll cover it and this weekend we don't know before tomorrow or we gotta watch the weather but it's supposed to be nice and warm getting into the 50s this weekend unbelievable for january people we got hot rocks got this hump out just right here was a little high spot about an inch high took the frost out and uh, this side's all good start putting plastic this way and then taking the wire putting it on and working our way back all right Polly's down wires in Miko's just tying the tabs you see how it's tied like that that's what you want to do. Tie it every every couple feet, five feet or so, and then uh, it will hold it from the wire pulling up. While he's finishing that, I'm laying out these piers. Show you real quick what we got. Same as the other layout on the other side. So I'm not going to go in super detail on how to do that. If you want to learn how to do that layout on those piers, just go back to that video on uh, concrete precast piers. Basically, this is it. And this section is over there now, and we will be working back here. We're putting this back here now. So the deck will be on this side, and that will be the door coming out up there. It lays out better for the house. The way they had it here, what happened was you could walk on this deck right up to the roof, and uh, it was a bad design. So it's getting changed. And he'll still utilize these that we put in over there as a lean-to. And he'll be able to park a car and stuff on that side. As you can see in this picture. See how it's right here? Well, there's the roof coming down. You can literally walk right onto the roof. Bad design. All right, just fueled up the machine. Tracking it back down in. It's gonna be real tight here. As you see, we got the garage. We got a couple trees here. A couple bushes here are probably take down after. But, uh, 
gonna be tight and it's gonna be a different uh, plan of attack. We're probably gonna do, is I gotta keep tracking in and out and then I gotta track in and out and then over to there to get our piers. Um, and it's gonna be, we're gonna have to do one at a time instead of digging all the holes because I, I doubt I'll fit. So as you see, we're gonna be digging them at a little bit of an angle too. Everything's not gonna be right over the line, which will be fine. We will get it done as long as I'm in, in that square. water like before but I'm sure there is Dug. I'm gonna go grab the pier. Like I said, go back. I'll put a link in the description of a detailed, uh, a detailed procedure on how to set, lay out, and set these piers in the first phase of this project. This one we are just getting done quickly. Not gonna bother taking the bucket off this one. It's gonna work out fine because we got it. We're doing one at a time. I'm not gonna switch the bucket so many different times before I dug them all in one shot. Set them in one shot so I didn't need the bucket on. But we're just. I'll take the pressure off.
happy with that one. All right, that one is getting fine-tuned and on our way to grab the next one. Precast. And these ones are four foot instead of five foot. Those four, five footers are just uh, a little overkill. We're just gonna level that up it is what it is we're into bedrock maybe an inch or two high but we don't know till we measure go cool. grab them here all right 
right, number four going in. everything's set to the line and nice that one's dry we got water and all the other ones just a little bit not enough to worry about like the last phase um, I'm gonna backfill all these right now before we do the other last two piers all right we're good to backfill just backfill nice and easy let it hit the bank before it slides down in half and half on each side you know the drill. here that are going to be for the uh, stairs coming down. Tog out a bunch of material to try to make them fit. We're into the shell already right there. Right there is shale.
sledgehammer so because we had that big shale knob we just worked to try to get that shale off but we couldn't get it so we just take the sledgehammer and snap the ear off on the right corner it will work Let's see what we got here. Just fine tuning it to the line. They slide nice on the shell. Just with a bar, you can slide them. Plus, we're right on the line there, the line there. And these are the stairs that come down off the deck. The last two. Good. And it is a good. Just get these things back filled. I gotta run Miko to his truck. Cause he's gotta do his night job. All right, let's get this back filled. people let's see what we got inspection pass flying colors we got the poly down all the wire tied ready to go for friday hopefully uh just working on a time for concrete they want to send it at 10 i'm trying to get it earlier i gotta put a couple grade stakes in here that morning looks like we'll be wheelbarrowing it to the back i'll put a cold shoot on too um back here Obviously this is all gotta get addressed in the spring and a lawn installed. That wasn't the focus today. Today was putting these piers in for the deck up here, which we got in and what a blessing it is to have Miko back part time. Um, we'll see how that works out. Obviously in the spring, we're we'll, uh, gonna gear up with some other men. Um, I'll need two men to take his spot, but he, he's a good kid Miko. So, it went smooth with him, you know, with one guy with this, you're in and out of the machine a hundred times. And, and you know, it's so much easier just for someone just to put it where it's gotta be as I've lowered him with the machine. So that worked out well. I'm glad uh, he was here to help. And uh, this is good. These guys will be able to get this deck on, no problem. Everything's where it should be. We didn't disturb the roots on the tree too much. So that should still live. And these ones will not go to waste. They're going to put a lean-to off the house here and use these ones I put in so they could still put a car under there. All right, guys. Hopefully you got something out of it. Maybe just enjoyment. But I will catch you Friday on the pour. Thanks. <laughs>